YouTubers, it is Natalie here once again, and I'm here to tell you something very important. As one of the more than 5 million American citizens that are non-military living abroad, you know, sometimes we forget that our voice is important and it needs to be heard, especially in this upcoming election. I want to show you exactly how easy it is to register and get your ballot, your absentee ballot, while you are living overseas. I submitted mine and literally got my ballot within six hours. So when I say it's easy and fast, yes, trust and believe it is easy and fast. So I'm going to go through step by step on how you can register and some easy ways, some sneaky ways and cheaper ways and options to get your ballot to you literally maybe within six hours like me. So if you're interested to see, then please stay tuned. So the first thing you want to do, you want to go to the website www.fvap.gov slash citizen dash voter slash registration dash ballots. On this page you are going to click on your home state, the state where your home address or your last address was. So once you click on your home state, it's going to pull up all of your voter, your state voter re requirements and absentee registration ballot submission deadlines. So for example, for me in Florida, I must submit my voter registration form no later than October 11th. That is literally basically next week. So for every state, it is definitely a different date. So I would suggest that you take a look at this website or way in advance, like now, so you can see exactly when your date is so you have that kind of that date in mind. Next, you are going to scroll down on that same page and you will see three boxes. You want to look for the first box, register to vote, request a ballot or update my voter info. In this box, you are going to click on the uh, link FPCA form. You want to click and download this form. When you click on this form, it's going to open a fillable PDF and you want to make sure that you fill in this information as correctly as possible. Please make sure that you choose the preferred way you want to receive your ballot by email, mail, or fax. I personally would suggest email because you'll get it right literally in your email, hence the way I got my ballot within six hours. And then print out your form. Next you need to mail your registration form. So each state has a different mail by date, so please make sure you look at your own state so you have an idea of when that is. Most states are usually around the beginning to mid-October. But again, it can be earlier and it can be later. So please take a look out for that. So there are two ways that you can mail your form. The first way is you could just easily mail it. So for the mailing address that you need to send it to you, you're going to go back to that original page that we uh, went to and you are going to click on your state's election office website. Click on this scroll to the bottom of their page and right there you should be able to find your ele your state's elections office address copy that put it on your envelope make sure you have enough stamps to get it to wherever you're going especially if you're living abroad um, and send it it may take up to two or three weeks to get there depending on how you mailed it but you can get it in as long as it's mailed by the date that is specified by your state the second you will fax it but it's not the original faxing. It's going to be a fax through your mobile phone. You are first going to get the app. You can either go to your Apple Store or your Google Play Store and look up Fax App. You can download one of the many fax apps that are available. I would personally suggest either Tiny Fax or Fax File. Before you start to use this app, First, this is the sneaky thing, <laughs> connect your phone to Wi-Fi and connect it to a VPN that is set in the United States. This is how you are going to save your money. Let me explain later, okay? So after you are already set up with your Wi-Fi and your VPN, you are going to take a picture of your document. So of your completed registration, take a full picture of your document. Next, go to your app and open that same document 
through your app. Your app is going to edit it and enhance that picture for the best uh, faxing quality possible. Once you add in that attachment, you are going to go to the recipient portion and you are going to put in the fax number for whoever you're sending that to. Again, that information can be found on your state elections office website. So now you have your document uploaded and you have the recipient you're going to send it to. Next, you actually need to send it, but you need to pay for it. So in order to pay for it, you are going to have to add credits to your account. And credits can be upwards to $2.50 per 50 credits. And what you're going to do, it should be no more than 20 credits. And that app is going to send your document directly to your office of elections in your state. That is it. That is how easy it is to vote this election season. Please, please, please go ahead and vote. Make your voice be heard. There are over 5 million of us out there. And if even half of us are able to vote, we can make a huge change in our home country. So please don't take this power lightly. Please go ahead and do these steps. It's gonna take you less than 10 minutes. Anyways, I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. If it helped you out, please like and share this video to your friends and everybody else abroad, okay? Happy travels, you guys. Bye.